What's happening guys? This is Ken Sr. from the New England Motorcycle Museum. We are in front of Combat Motors, formerly known as Confederate Cycles Factory here in Birmingham, Alabama. We're about to get a tour and see where the magic happens. So come on in. Building's beautiful, brick, uh, brick building and yeah, nice landscaping here in Birmingham. It's about, oh, 50 degrees out in January, so they don't have much of a winter here. It's a great place to be if you like riding bikes. The logo changed to uh, reflect the change of the company name to Combat Cycles earlier uh, in 2020. We'll step into the showroom here. We've got to start off two beautiful bikes here on the Condor lifts and uh, some videos going in the background here of some of the bikes they've already produced. Hey Jay, hey. what's happening brother? How no, you doing? Good, good to, to see you. you. Thanks for having us here today. Hey, it's a pleasure to have you. I'm so glad that you guys were able to stop by. Yeah, Christy and I are pretty excited about getting yeah. a 10 cent tour of the place. Yeah, um, I, I but why don't we start? the bomber. Yeah, why don't we start right here? Which one is this? This is the FA-13 Combat Bomber. Uh, this bike was limited to 13 editions at $125,000 per unit. Uh, this is just an outstanding machine. It looks like something uh, that would be a military spec uh, uh, or like a special ops vehicle. It's just starting with the intake up at the top here with the glass sides on it and uh, the uh, way that the frame is not only partly the air box, but I guess fuselage and, and oil tank also. It's just incredible. Yes, and it's a coincidence that you say that because all of the aluminum that we use as well as the anodizing is all military spec. Just incredible. Uh, what, what what model frame is this? I know you have a few different style frames. Which is it? All of these frames are on our CX-4 architecture. So the CX-4, this is uh, aircraft quality uh, aluminum billet 6061 uh, aluminum that was uh, carved from a CNC 5 access machine into these yes. shapes. Is that what this is? Yes. So really that there is no finer quality construction that you could come up with, is there? No, there's over a thousand hours in each motorcycle. So a thousand hours, uh, one hundred twenty thousand doesn't sound like a, a, a lot when you start realizing yeah. that a thousand hours at at a uh, at ninety bucks an hour it adds up pretty quick. Um, so the frame, the real heart of this beast is the motor. The motor is absolutely stunning. How many cubic inches is this CX four? It's one hundred and thirty two cubic inch engine, two thousand one hundred sixty three cc's. That's two thousand. That's almost twenty two hundred cc's of heart th throbbing V-twin power, and, and it looks like you have a downdraft intake into a twin. I, I heard even the intakes on these are cast out of, are, are carved out of billet aluminum. Is yes, that true? and it's, it's a twisted downdraft. Twi twisted downdraft fuel injection, and the heads, uh, I, I heard the engine cases were crafted to your spec by the number one V-twin engine builder on the planet, s and &S. Yes, that is correct. We design uh, our, our motorcycles around that engine, and they work with us as we design the case and the other elements of the engine. You see some beautiful carbon fiber on here and some tape wrapping. Is this, uh, is MagnaFlow the, the manufacturer of the, uh, who makes your header system? Uh, we have all of our headers just made for us. Okay, so they're custom made? Various, yes, custom headers through various. Very uh, nice. Now, are these wheels carbon fiber? Yes, from BST in South Africa, only the best. Wow, Pirelli tires, I see you have the Confederate logo on here still uh now the name changed recently to combat cycles and i think that was to more reflect the style and the origin of the of the quality or you know, the style of the bike you know we would think of right. combat riders i think of hell's angels coming out of uh you know uh, what was it world war ii when they came out and uh they, they named their club after a bomber uh so and a lot of a lot of uh, military guys ended up being one percenters and hardcore motorcycles because they were looking for the rush of getting in a, in a, in a plane, you know, and, and the, the rush of being in battle. And the only thing that can really replace that is, is riding a fast speed at a motorcycle, in my opinion, you know? Right, well, every single one of our bikes is a combat edition, so it just made total sense to, to make the name combat. This is just awesome. Now, this is number three of 13. There was only 13 of these ever made. Yes, we have the availability to build one more, and then this line, the FA-13, will be complete. Just spectacular. Um, what else can you tell me about this? Uh, what kind of brakes are those? Are those Behringer brakes on there? It's Behringer brakes, yes sir. And, and it's the 4D brake system. Now, yeah, you say it's a 4D. Guys, check it out. There's two discs here and two discs there with two individual set of pads. So um, you really have double the uh, contact area on the brakes, right? That's correct. It's incredible. Better stop. The front end on this is really unique too. How would you describe this? 
uh, is, is, is it a, like a paralever or a, um, uh, it's unlike a telescopic fork on that one right there. What, what, what type of style front end is this? It's really caught my eye. I really, I wish I had a better name to give you, but it, it's just, it, it was custom designed by us uh, fully. It's a hard fork with, with a shock to lift. You know, uh, looking at this side of the motor, there's a, a, the cam chain system, the cam belt drive here on this SNS designed um, tw almost 2200 cc V twin has a glass case so you can actually see the moving gears when it's running, which is really cool. That's something, you know, you can't sneak around on one of these. Can't be like it wasn't me on a, on a, on a, uh, a combat motorcycle because, well, there's only 13 on the planet, right? right. So yes, you're, you're going to make a statement everywhere you go with this thing. Look at the exhaust on it, too. It's got a six. Uh, three on this side and three on that side. Is this, is this, are these bikes pretty loud? They are, they're fairly loud. Do you, do you have one we can hear today, hopefully? We'll, we'll be able to fire one up here in a little bit. Okay, awesome. Check this out. You can see the oil in the oil tank here. Um, you know, just coming out of the Barber Museum, the only bike that, that these, that um, kind of reminds me of this kind of engineering is a Vin, Vincent Black Shadow, and that was from generations ago, almost, you know, quite some time ago, but these, I'd, I would call these bikes the Vincent Black Shadow of V-Twins today. You know, they're, they're just a, a, a cut above anything else you'll find. What, what, what is this bike right here? This is a 2015 Hellcat Speedster. Uh, this bike is no longer in production, but part of our pre-owned program is whatever you paid for your bike when you originally purchased it, we'll give you that exact amount for a trade-in towards a new bike. That's incredible. So you can buy a bike in five years from now, and trade it in a new one, and get all your money back. And get all your money back, yes, sir. Is, is this bike for sale here? This bike is for sale at $60,000. Uh, we brought it in, factory reconditioned it, has less than 500 miles on it. Can you describe the specs uh, on this one, the motor? Uh, it's the same motor. It's an X1 32X wedge SNS engine. Uh, rather than uh, doing the downdraft air intake, we left the side intake. Jason created a beautiful uh, modified air intake box on that to allow more cubic feet of air, or cubic inches of air to get, uh, get to the motor. Again, you see the carbon fiber wheelers, wheels, the Behringer brakes, the uh, massive discs on a set of upside down forks with a aircraft quality 6061 aluminum triple trees. Uh, everything looks like it was like carved out of a piece of billy, just phenomenal engineering. This says here, what does 2465 Hellcat Speedster mean? Was that There like... were 65 of these bikes produced, and this is the number 24 of that run. Wow, so e every one of these is a limited hand-built, uh, really it's a piece of modern art that you can ride. Um, and you know, what was the price on this one again? This one is 60,000. We just left the Harley dealer, it's 50,000 for a CVO Harley, um, you know, for 10 grand more, this isn't going to need any mods on brakes or wheels or tires. It's got the best of everything on it already. It has race tech shock on the back, carbon fiber uh, wheels with uh, Pirelli tires. Massive. I think that's a 240 on the rear. It's huge. It is. Those are 240s. The, um, the swing arm is really a, a work of art, too. It's a dual, uh, looks like a, a twin arm uh, aluminum swing arm. Just spe spectacular. And the exhaust kind of looks like something you'd see on a Buell almost, you know? Even the pegs. Um, just, just fantastic quality construction. The, the is that tank all carbon fiber, or is that just the cover it's for it? All carbon fiber. Wow, guys, um, we have the the auction coming up at the museum, and I am going to be working with with uh, combat cycles here to help them move some of their motorcycles. So uh, this one may be coming up if it's not sold already. This might be on the auction list. Um, if, if it is, it'll ship from here, and we'll have a video of this. Now this is completely reconditioned, like brand new. It only has five hundred total miles on it since new is that correct that's correct and then you bought in and recertified it so it's kind of like buying a, a brand new motorcycle at a fraction of the price price and um you know it's as far as the value of it well good luck trying to turn a harley or any v-twin into anything close to what this what this is right out of the box these are handcrafted you can see the billet aluminum construction there and the, even the leather work on it is a cut above anything else you're going to see on a production motorcycle, carbon fiber fender, wheels, race tech shock, massive uh, aluminum swing arm, even the primary drive on the thing is. Now, this is a CX3 SNS block, correct? On yes. this one? And that what, is our third architecture. In the frame on this one, what do you call this frame again? This is a tubular frame, three, CX3 architecture. CX3, and you can see it differs uh, greatly from that one. That one has like a, um, a, a, a backbone at the top there that has the air box. Your gas tank and your oil kind of 
worked right into the frame and then a, a twin side plate in that looks like it uses the engine as a as a, a stress a stressed member uh, if you will whereas this one here it looks like there's a um almost a full cradle but i'm not sure if there, there's not all of there's our, not all of our motorcycles you have to start with the engine and the bike is built around the engine wow there is no solid chassis if you remove the engine so the engine is is a integral part of the frame saving weight yes uh, centering uh, like the, the 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 three principles eric buell designs his bikes on are uh center of gravity a um, low weight center of gravity and mass centralization and that, that's kind of what you're doing here all the weight is coming down to the middle of the bike correct right and th this bike is just a little over 400 pounds and even this bomber over here is just 550 pounds dry this um video uh, here can you tell me what this is on the video that, that's the uh, uh fa 13 combat bomber uh the same bike that we have in our showroom uh, with a different leather seat on yes. it and different yes. colors so you can uh, will you i see that one there has red on it this one has a, a, a brown will you custom build these since there's such a limited production to whatever color somebody wanted yes somebody might have a, own a football team yes. or something they want their team colors or right. maybe they're part of a one percenter mc and they want their their, their uh, club colors on there you can do that before we start building your bike i will send you a rendering of it and we'll go over the artistic design when you approve that design, then we build it. So that way it eliminates, even though there's only 13 of these bikes, all 13 can be totally original and unique. Wow, that's pretty spectacular. Um, and, and on a pre-owned one, do you, do you work on pre-owned bikes? If someone had bought one used, yes. can you guys uh, do the services on it? Yes, if someone has a Confederate that's outstanding and they would like to contact us, we, we do the work on those right here at our shop. What, what do you charge uh, per hour to work on someone's pre-owned um, bike, if you don't mind me asking? I do not. It's the cost of the parts plus $125 an hour labor. That's the same as any, any Harley shop, really, so that's totally reasonable. Is this your production manager right there? Yes. That, that is our production manager, Jason. Uh, he's built just about every single motorcycle since 2008. Who, who's that? That is Matt Chambers. He's the original founder of the Confederate brand name. Uh, and then in 2018, that brand decided to go all electric and change their name to Curtis. And that's the point at which Mr. Lee purchased the Com Confederate brand and renamed it Combat. And we've been moving forward ever since. That's incredible. 180 uh, traditionally manufactured parts. Uh, so how many parts total goes into building one of these? They, I heard 400. Is that correct? They all vary. Uh, actually, the, the, the smaller bike, the Speedster, has 516 parts, whereas the, the Bomber, even though it looks more intricate, it only has about 512. So the, there's four more pieces on this smaller looking bike than the Bomber. That's the P120 fighter right there, huh? Yes, that's the P120. Those were made uh, around 2010 and 11. Just spectacular. Um, do you have, uh, how many of these do you have available for sale today? Uh, if I, we have clients all over the world that watch our videos. Uh, we're getting around two and a half million views a month, uh, approaching 100,000 subscribers and 37,000 total views on the channel. So uh, maybe someone out there watching. I have friends in Manila all over the world that are collectors, uh, the UK, uh, Africa. Ireland, um, everywhere. So if someone wants to buy one, are there any available today besides this one right here? On our website in our showroom, we always have a listing of the pre-owned models that we've accepted. Uh, however, new models are only made to order. Okay, excellent. So what's next? Should we uh, take well, a look let's inside? Let's take a, a look at the, the shop. Awesome. No press on this one. Walking through the factory, um, I can't show you some things here, but I can show you uh, what I can. I will. Which model is this one here? That is an X132 Speedster. Or no, excuse me, I'm sorry. That is a G2 Hellcat. Uh, those were made around 2005, 2006. The exhaust runs through the swing arm on that bike. Wow, look at that. See the exhaust comes down through into the swing arm. That's awesome. And next up here, we have another... Uh, this is a, looks like 120 That's cubic inch. V120 rate. Wow. You know, if Batman rode a motorcycle, it would be a combat cycle. <laughs> These are just really high tech looking, badass. This is the 131 fighter, uh, very much the same as the 120 fighter, just a few more cubic inches on the engine. We see one with Brembo, Brembo brakes on this one to mix it up a little bit. What, what's the what's the the price on this one new? 
when when that bike was being manufactured, it was one hundred and ten thousand new. One hundred and ten thousand, beautiful piece. And this one here? That is an X one thirty two Hellcat. Is that like the one in the showroom? Similar? A similar swing arm, anyways. Similar to the, the one in the showroom. The one in the showroom is a Speedster. Uh, the, the primary difference between those two bikes is the carbon fiber tank, the seat, and a little bit of a shifting in the frame for a different ergonomic style during your ride. Just beautiful. And over here, I saw this, and uh, it kind of like feels like you're going into heaven, motorcycle heaven, <laughs> yeah. with the white, the white in the background. It's just. It looks a little slice of heaven here. And that Look is at this. Combat. Actually, that's the one that was in the photo. Uh, wow. That you just took. We received this back recently as a trade-in, and uh, we have this one available for fifty thousand right now. Jeez, I, I I think that's a that's quite a bargain for what you're getting there. Um, the motor on this one again. This is a uh, X one thirty two S and S engine. And how many horse roughly is that putting down? Uh, one hundred eighty. 180 horsepower, okay? And you see, with V-Twins, you might say, well, my, my 1,000 jack bike has, has that kind of power. With the V-Twins, it's a torque. Um, I would guess this has got to be putting down in, in the 150 to 200 foot-pound of torque range, uh, just guessing, but it's substantially more than you get in a four-cylinder uh, Japanese motorcycle. Um, just beautiful. So what did you do on this one since you got it back? Did you change anything on it? I see it's got a beautiful paint job with the new logo uh, on there. We just refurbished the bike back to factory new and it's ready for available or immediate delivery. Behringer brakes, carbon fiber wheels, super high tech front end, beautiful blue and silver paint job, the combat logo, the twin uh, K&N style twin intake uh, filters, black motor, see-through glass case, uh, twin swing arm, just beautiful, nice leather on the seat. Uh, these are set up for high performance speed demons for sure and uh bear with us a second here you're going to get a little show here this turn style actually turns <laughs> i would have never have guessed that's pretty that's pretty badass i think that's really cool kenny needs this yeah he'd be a kid <laughs> in a candy shop doing his photo shoots oh just click, click 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 this is really awesome. We're, 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 who makes this um, display here? It's really something else. I cannot remember the name of the company. It's, it's brand new. This is the only one of these booths in the United States. It's incredible. And you have it. <laughs> of course. Yeah. If you make the best bikes, you got to have the best, the best uh, photo booth, right? Exactly. Just stunning. I love how it's mirrored. Oh, uh, the mirror floor is really nice. It lets you see the underneath yeah. of the bike, too, which a lot of folks really lose. But there, there's art underneath as well. Yeah, that's what I was Just saying. beautiful. It's, it's really cool. Now, this isn't like building a Harley and putting the best components on it. This is designed on CAD with the best mechanical engineers and drafters in the, in the world working with the best companies, S&S on the motor, uh, Behringer on the brakes, um, Pirelli Diablo, Diablo tires, all the best components to the spec to work on this bike. And they've been doing this since, what, 91, right? Is it, that's... 1991 is when the company was founded, yes, sir. Are you going to do a 30th anniversary edition? I don't know. Uh, I know that the original company did a 25th anniversary edition. Uh, we probably will. We're, we're changing our engines to a new SNS engine that will be released uh, hopefully later this year. Yeah, I would encourage you to do a 30th anniversary model, make it a limited production one. And uh, I know they've all been this similar cafe uh, bomber uh, fighter style. It would be awesome to see you do a six inch sweat stretch swing arm and make a hill climber out of one. Put a number plate on it and get a pro rider to, to do some promotions for you and or uh, put a set of Olin's front forks on there, the gold motocross ones that are with 12 inches of travel on the front, a little longer shock on the back and make an enduro version. That would be just incredible. Uh, and it would open a different demographic. You could t use this basic frame like Triumph did with the Bonville in the 60s and make a motocrosser, an enduro, a hill climber, a hair scrambler, an ice racer. You could do it with just this chassis. Just put longer suspension on the front and a 21 inch front tire and a 19 inch rear and you could run modern knobby tires on it and open up a whole new demographic and bring it to shows like Daytona, uh, for Bike Week, Laconia, uh, you've got your three basic models, but they're only really getting one demographic. That's the super high-end um, sport street rider. Now, there are super high-end hill climbers. There's super high-end uh, guys that like riding off-road and enduro. And Harley-Davidson is just about to release their Pan America, which is a uh, on-off-road style machine. 
this would really trump anything that, that they've done uh, to, to a pretty great extent with uh, the technology that you have here and with the ability to design on CAD, you could actually design it, you know, do a high front fender like you wouldn't, like a, basically a, something similar to a modern 450 single cylinder four stroke motocross bike, like a Honda CRF 450, but go with like a high end Olin's gold. One thing that, that struck me when I went to the, the Barber Museum yesterday was there was a Moto Guzzi there that had the Olin's forks on it, the Olin's shock, and it was, they were gold anodized with the gold coating on the, on the, the, the forks. Um, and just bringing a little bit more color and create a different version, a, a version that could be used for off-road and hill climbing. And that same bike, you could actually put ice tires on it, uh, a 21 and 19 rear, and take it out on a frozen lake with a pro rider and you could create some killer videos of these bikes you know um at the museum we have bill blythe he's a five-time isle of man racer we've got mario testa he's an ama pro supercross and motocross rider we, we've got a hill climber that works for us months and hill climbs right up the street if you set up stretch a swing arm put a huge paddle on there you could take this bike stretch a swing arm and, and run it up the hill and the the promotional value for your company of a video like that showing it uses for as a hill climber or a uh, being as an adventure bike you know um, just raise it up off the ground with a longer fork and set up the swing arm and a, a little maybe a, a thicker padded seat now the other thing you could do too which um, I saw Orange County choppers and a lot of the people that were focusing just on choppers go out of business right didn't they all go out of business think about possibly uh, creating a uh, now it's a bit of a fat the fat bagger thing but if you took this frame this basic frame design right here and um put a larger fairing on it on the front forward controls a little bit bigger seat maybe a double up saddle on it and a big fairing you could drop it off at larry larry adams at la audio and put a kick-ass stereo on it now you've got now you're tapping into the bagger market so you could take this basic frame put a bagger fairing a set of bags and a longer seat and still have a world-class 160 horsepower super light bike put 30 pounds of stereo and fairing equipment on it and you you could you could tap into the bagger market you could tap into the dual purpose on off-road market with the same frame if you really wanted to, to to um now it's easy for me to say i'm not a motorcycle manufacturer i'm a motorcycle nut um i've done over five where if you look if you google the top 60 motorcycle youtubers as a website and you sort them by the most videos I've got a thousand more videos than second place. Okay, oh, wow. so <laughs> five thousand of those were, were me riding motorcycles. So I've ridden over five thousand motorcycles. That's just in the last eight years of every brand type hill climbers. I've I've, I've ridden Harley Davidson XR 750 hill climbers. I've ridden TZ uh, Yamaha two strokes. I've ridden basically everything from bikes in the 20s Indian Chiefs up to the latest greatest technology, but. I've been a big fan of your product for a long time. Okay, been a big fan of your product, and, and the engineering is absolutely second to none. It's just first class. What is this one right here? This is the P51 Combat Fighter. This is one that we had taken back on trade, and we're, we're finalizing the refurbish of it, and we'll have this one ready. And there's already an owner for it. Wow, it's already pre-sold. Already pre-sold. This, thing, it, you know, you, you say it's pre-owned. If you didn't tell me it wasn't brand new, I wouldn't know. Every pre-owned bike that you've shown me looks. And I guess the kind of guy who's going to invest in a in a world-class piece like this is going to take care of it the right way. But look at the quality of the the CNC machining on here. Every single nut and bolt and every component on here is just freaking spectacular. And after going through the Barber Museum, I can tell you. There's, I haven't seen a finer crafted motorcycle than these combat cycles. It's just absolutely incredible. Um, what, what year was this one originally manufactured? 2018. 2018? And which motor is this? This is another CX Force. Is, is this a 132? It's a 132. Wow. So uh, what's, the dry, uh, what's the weight of this bike? Uh, this Roughly. bike and the bomber are the same weight, 550 pounds dry. So 150 horsepower. Probably close to 200 foot pound of torque, six speed transmission, correct? Uh, same as your Harley. F five, it's a five speed? Okay, it's so a five speed transmission. Um, and it looks like it would be super rigid. What's it like? What's it like? Uh, have you ridden these yourself? 
Some, yes. I mean, th th this bike really is a great ride. I mean, the, the, the Ranger trailer, just ideal. It's a good bike to go around in the city. And, and if you want to spend a whole day riding, it's, it's a comfortable ride. Yeah, it's got the race tech suspension, front and rear killer brakes, killer yeah. suspension. And if you order this bike new, you have your choice of a rear, mid, or front uh, peg set. So you can tailor it to the rider. So you get a, a six foot five basketball player, you can set it up for him. You get a, a 300 pound football player, you can set it up for him. Um, what about uh, custom colors? If someone, let's say you had a football player wanted a blue and white bike, can you, do you, do you, um, you customize them like leather and, and uh, the grips to whatever, whatever, whatever somebody wants? Whatever specifications they would like. If, if it's possible to be done, then we'll do it. So guys, there you have it. If it's possible to be done, they will do it. And anybody who can make an integral oil tank gas tank and air box as part of the frame. Uh, I think this pretty much the sky's the limit here at Combat Cycles. How do they get a hold of you? What's your phone number? It's 205-440-1123 or they can call 8555-COMBAT. And they can also find you on the internet at your website? Uh, at CombatMotorcycles.com or excuse me, CombatMotors.com. CombatMotors.com. Look at this rear wheel. Massive carbon fiber just and, and I'll see if there's any battery left in this one. It's a lot! Don't get your blood racing, you might be dead. Everything on this bike is aircraft quality, just incredible. Now, do I hear a fan? Yes. Wow. It's got an oil cooling fan? Yes. That's spectacular. So if you're sitting in Daytona, you're not going to burn up the engine, and it'll cool itself off. Right. And, well, this, this bike has our entire cooling upgrade on it. It has the KMP oil filter. It also has the secondary overhead mist system where we actually pull oil from the bag and mist it over top of the, the heads. Wow. So it has a, an oversized oil cooler. Uh, oil cooler, oil filter, uh, an air air fan for electric fan for the cooling of the oil. Uh, you've got heat tape on the exhaust. You've done everything you can to keep the heat down, which yes. more more uh, cooler motors run faster, right? Exactly. Well, what are these components here? That is your fuse box. Wow. Even the fuse boxes will work are on these things. <laughs> wow. Look at the intake. Just unbelievable. Do you have a favorite of all the ones you made? Does one stick out? Is, is there a model you prefer? 
My favorite bike has always been the G2 Hellcat. The G2 I love Hellcat? The, the swing arm through the exhaust is just an amazing cruiser style bike. How many of those are out there? Uh, there's probably about 30 or 40 of those out there. I love every time we get one back in, but they don't last long when they come in the shop. How many have you produced? How many are in production? There, there's about 1,500 total 15. Uh, motorcycles out there. How many of the 1,500 stayed in the United States of America, do you figure? About 40% of them. Only 40 are here? 60% of our motorcycles go overseas. Wow. Yeah, I can see that. You know, people can really appreciate this. I mean, you know, just think about pulling up to an event on this bike right here. Uh, that there might be a half a million Harley Davidsons down in Daytona. There's only going to be one or two Confederates. So if you want to make a statement, if you want world-class quality at really what is just a, if you take a standard stock Harley and build it to this, this sort of grandiosity, you're going to spend almost as much money and it'll never be this. You're still going to have a Harley frame and Harley forks. Uh, and it'll never be what this bike is. This is this this can only be created from the ground up with a clear sheet of paper, and that's what you guys did. This is what this is what I call a no compromise motorcycle. Yes, our designer Andrew Ruder has just been amazing at designing these bikes. Everything just falls right in place when you're putting it together, and it's engineered very well. He does whatever stress tests he needs to do to ensure that you are getting a quality product. So, if one of our viewers wants to order a brand new Hellcat. What's a turnaround time? I cannot do a brand new Hellcat. I, I'm not Hellcat. I'm, I mean, a, um, a brand new combat cycles. One of these, one of the three models you do have, you, you do have now. I, I would say 12 weeks. 12 weeks. So, not not that's not you know it's three months. That's not too bad. Right. Are you going to be at Daytona? Are you guys going to have a booth down at Daytona? Yes, we're going to be at Daytona this year. We're going to have a new rate, which we do not have. We've not shown the rate yet, but we'll have a 2021 rate. 2021 F117 fighter as well as the 2021 P51 combat fighter. Looking at the some of the quality craftsmanship you're only going to find in a bike like this. This is the uh, looks like the, the the brake lights are Frenched into the. Is, is that is there some, is there lights inside there? Yeah, yes. They were lit up before. Oh wow! And the seat is looks like looks like it was made out of the same uh, almost like a base yeah like a baseball glove quality. It's yes. just incredible. The huge laces on there. And the, the, even the license plate, everything on here. Uh, I read somewhere or watched a video where they said the function, wait, the form follows function on a combat cycle. But since it's crafted to such a high degree, it creates a statement, a sounding statement all of its own that's a complete work of art that doesn't follow anybody's lead. It's, 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 it takes its own direction. Just incredible. Jay, what's it, uh, you said about a three to four month uh, uh, order time from start to finish. Right, and it just depends on our schedule as we get more builds. Um, you know, we're, we're anticipating after Daytona that uh, all orders taken at Daytona may be closer to the end of the year, even into 2022, before we'll be able to deliver. Now, you don't see a lot of marketing for, for the, the combat cycles out there on, on the internet, and there's not a whole lot uh, of uh, um, advertisements you'll see and the reason why jay said is this is the kind of bike that people see it and their jaw drops they go to an international motorcycle show and there's nothing like it there there's nothing even close to this type of craftsmanship in one-off exclusivity and, and, it, and it, the bike basically sells itself uh so get if you're interested in one they're not going to call you they're not going to um be at daytona uh uh looking to sell you one right off the floor they don't have a warehouse full of these. These are handcrafted and you can have a lot of input. We talked about, you know, changing it for the size of the rider. You can change the uh, type of leather in grips and maybe add some anodizing or color. The sky's the limit. These guys can do anything. So um, you want to buy the baddest ass American made motorcycle, bar none, the big block, 132 cubic inch B twin. This thing, you know, it'll, you know, it'll, It'll rip your house off the foundation. Matter of fact, not only will this bike rip your house off the foundation, but tell me a little bit about the stump story. Uh, well, we have one of our owners that uh, 
he just had a few small stumps in his yard and he couldn't get his truck in that area and he used his P51 and actually pulled three stumps right out of the ground with it. Okay, now when he pulled these out of the ground, he ripped it out of the ground I'm with sure stump, he pulling, out. stump pulling <laughs> torque. It's kind of a funny thing I do a lot of my videos. <laughs> the, I say they'll rip your house out the foundation, but the, this, these things, this is the real deal, buddy. 200 foot pound of stump ripping torque right here. <laughs> What do you think about that, honey? I think that's perfect. I think you need one for the farm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Christy uh, just said, "Well, they come as a tandem, and yeah, they do. You can, you can, you can set it up. This is this model here is available with a tandem seat, right?" Yes, this model is available with a tandem seat. It's a ten thousand dollar upgrade, and it comes with the new cam and primary covers so that we can make sure that we get the uh, peg controls, the foot controls, in the right position for the driver and the rider. Amen. And ladies, if your guy can afford a seventy to $100,000 bike, he can afford the finer things in life for you too. Jay, 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 have it, Jay, I understand you make some race. Uh, every, uh, every model that you come out with has a race version, right? Right. The very first prototype is often the race model. And uh, uh, we've done in the past with the X132, we actually uh, broke the, the, the record for our class for a while at 182.5 miles per hour and that's the same engine that we use in the P51 as well. It just has a little bit different breathing so it doesn't go quite as fast but if you wanted to open up that breather a lot more you could, you could probably hit those speeds. Guys, he just, just to reiterate, he said 182.5 miles an hour on a production version of this motorcycle set the land world speed record for the class. And I believe I saw one of your videos, you actually removed the side glass cover to get it to breathe a little bit better for the yes. land worlds. So all you gotta do is take these two pieces off here, uh, plunk down your $70,000 and you can go to the salt flats and set the land world speed record. Matter of fact, we might be going there. We got invited to go. That's right. Yeah, with, with uh, Barry from Accurate Engineering. He's, he's gonna set the land world speed record on an antique uh, 19, I can't tell, tell you now because it's our next video. He doesn't want me to tell anybody yet, but an antique V-twin for that class. Yeah, on a, on a, so th these bikes, so these are proven in racing. Hey, and if you win more races and you show up with a badass bike like this, you're gonna get the girls, guys. You know, I'm trying to think of a classy way to say you're gonna get more sex when you buy this bike without saying you're gonna get laid a lot more. Okay, so, and I haven't quite figured out how to say that. Chris, you just said that's what you guys wanna hear anyways, but uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's basically, uh, that's, I mean, straight up, man. This is, this is pure sex. This is sex on two wheels. This is, this is as good as it gets, man. Straight up badass. <laughs> Christy, what do you think, what, what do you think of when you see one of these? I think of steampunk. And Mad Max. Steampunk know? artwork, steam, steampunk yeah. artwork. It's, it's, it's all the, the mechanics of it is, is very cool. I think there's nothing else like it. It's, uh, it's unique and I think they look really badass. And at this point, you've seen over a million motorcycles in 5,000 of my videos and you've been to Daytona <laughs> twice, uh, you know, in, into mid Ohio, yeah, three, uh, times. three times, Americade, uh, Daytona, Laconia. Uh, Mid Ohio, you've seen millions of motorcycles. Is, is there anything in your eye, does anything in your eyes make a statement like this bike does rolling up? This bike makes a statement. The fact that they're custom made to order, you know, to, to. So if you want to put a six inch stretch swing arm on it and make a drag bike out of that, they'll do it for you. If you wanted to put a knobby on it and make it a, a dirt drag bike, they'd probably do that for you too, because there's a lot of flexibility with the expertise these guys have. And drop it off at Larry Adams, LA Audio. He'll put a stereo on it for you too, if you want. <laughs> Yay, Larry! I think the most unique thing about this is they're not bulk manufactured. They are specifically manufactured to order for the customer. So you you can customize it, the colors, the foot pegs, and. You, you, you get to have freedom of that. And I, you don't get that anywhere, really, you know? And, and it's a work of art. It's, it's the fact that it's individual. You don't see this anywhere. There's no other bike like this, ever. Amen. You know, it's a one of a kind. And when you put it all down to it, each one is a work of art and individuality to a customer. You know, it, it's, it's got style, it's got, you know, the character of the customer put into it. 
as well. And, and I think that's what's so unique about it. Not, only, not only the character, but the physical dimensions. They can customize yeah. the seating position, the foot pegs, the bars for yeah. your weight, height, riding style, the suspension. You can't, no manufacturer will do that for you, none. Uh, other than a one-off custom-built manufacturer like Combat Cycles here. Right here in Birmingham, Alabama. Buy American. You want to help out the economy? It, it doesn't get more American than this.